guys, we are at Beer, B-E-E-R-E, Brewing Company in North Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. I've got here a tasting fly to four. We've got corn lager, uh, dry hot pale ale, IPA, and oat stout. I'm so excited to start trying these beers. Ready? Let's do it. So this one, the first one, is called Husky Baby. It's a corn lager. I've never had any beer that's made from corn. I've had distilled spirits before, you know, like corn, uh, you know, bourbon, yeah, but beer, never. So here goes. As you can see, it's lovely pale golden, see-through, and because it's a lager, of course I'm expecting it to be light and refreshing. I don't smell any corn. I just smell general malt flavors. Very fragrant. Even though on the nose it was malt in the mouth, it's all fruit. It's like fruit sweetness. At the same time, it's very light and crisp and refreshing. I don't know where the corn fits in from here, but the taste is just malty sweetness, very smooth, very light, very easy to drink. This will be perfect for a summer's day. So the sweetness of this corn lager is the same kind of sweetness if you have whiskey on the rocks, if it's bourbon made from corn. So once you sip the whiskey and then you have some water and then the water tastes really, really sweet. That kind of sweetness is the same sweetness as this. I'm gonna move on to my next drink, which is, it's called Go Easy. It's a dry hop pale ale. And this is a favorite of the staff. So I'm definitely interested in giving it a try. As you can see, it looks a lot, a lot like orange juice or grapefruit juice. So it, it's hazy. I can't see through it. It's got a lovely golden color. I've got hops on the nose. This would be a very juicy, grassy kind of pale ale. Oh, it's really smooth. Even though it's crisp, it has like a tiny hint of tang in there. It's not actually to the point of sour. You get a malty sweetness from it and also like a fruity sweetness. This is really, really good. I can imagine myself just drinking this all day in summer. Objects in the mirror appear more distant than they really are. That was not only a PSA, but <laughs> the name of this IPA is called The Object in the Mirror. Mm. So I guess this one will appear further away than it really is? I don't know. Oh, it's got a lovely golden hazy color. I've got notes of hops and like fruit on the nose. Oh, this is like very sweet, stone fruit kind of sweet. This is definitely fruit forward. Definitely has a more fruity finish as opposed to like a West Coast dry finish. That lovely burst of sweetness, juicy fruit finishes up into a bitter, hoppy finish on my tongue. If fruitiness is what you like in a beer and you're scared of IPA, this would be a very good one for you to try. It's not that bitter at all. Like you get a licorice kind of bittersweet finish at the end, which is lovely. Mm. I'm gonna get this one. It's a damn cold night 
trying to figure out this life Won't you take me by the hand, take me somewhere new I don't know who you are, but I, I'm with you And this beard is called I'm With You. It's a honey oat stout. Oh, look at it. It's super dark. I can't see through it. Oh, it smells super malty and sweet. I actually don't know the difference between oat stout and oatmeal stout. So currently, I'm thinking this is smelling like oatmeal stout that I've tasted. This definitely has notes of coffee. It's nutty. At the same time, it's quite crisp and refreshing. It's super smooth, quite light, and at the end, there's a little hint of tang. Mm. So I'm thinking, if you're liking coffee with a little bit of acidity to it, I'm thinking of more like South American, more lightly roasted Arabicana blends. So this is what reminds me of that taste. It's light, it's refreshing, but at the same time, it's got that rich flavor of the coffee. I would say it's actually got a little bit of that nutty, being roasted flavor involved as well. Hmm, this one is definitely a really interesting brew. Whatever it is, it's not heavy. So if you're not into heavy beers and you want to try a stout, I would say this is the one to go for. That was my experience at Beer Brewery. I've really, really come to grow to love that place. And I've really, really fallen in love with their dry hop double IPA as well. It tastes like heaven, especially after a workout. So as far as ambience goes, I thought the brewery was actually quite small with limited indoor sitting. However, um, they do have a tent with heater set up outside, so that's really nice. They have a wide selection of in-house beers for reasonable prices. I loved every single beer that I tried in that tasting flight. And I think my only regret is that they didn't have too much food there. Well, otherwise I would be there all day. <laughs> Do you like dry hop beers? Do you like double IPAs? What food would you pair with an IPA? Please comment below and let me know. Also be sure to look me up on Instagram and use the hashtag happy hour with Ali. Till we drink again next time. Cheers mates. Bye.